Measuring at nearly 20 feet, this Florida speed bump, the Burmese Python, is now the longest python ever caught in the world. And for the hunter who caught it, this isn't his first rodeo. Everyone is obsessed with the mysteries of the deep ocean, but Florida's own backyard has a secret that only shows up on thermal cameras at night. These aerial flights have detected heat signatures that are totally out of place, showing up as bright white hot spots in the middle of freezing swamp water. Pythons thrive in warm climate, which is why they've quickly adapted here in the Everglades, and they're spreading. Milder winters have led to sightings further north. These are not malfunctions or glitches in the gear. Basically, we are looking at a massive invasion of heat that has been fleeing under the radar for a long time. The deal is that these signatures are leading investigators to discoveries that are equal parts fascinating and absolutely terrifying for the ecosystem secret snake clusters. The crazy part is that these signatures were found deep in the marshes where even the bravest hikers do not go. At first, the pilots thought their gear was acting up because the signatures were too big for a single panther or a deer. But after checking the data, they realized they were looking at something much more serious. These were Burmese pythons. Now you might know that snakes are cold-blooded so they should not really glow on a thermal camera, right? Well, that is where it gets interesting. These snakes are so large, sometimes reaching lengths of over 20 feet and weighing more than 200 pounds that they hold on to the heat from the sun long after it goes down. When they huddle together to reproduce or stay warm, they create a massive heat signature that lights up the infrared screens like a light bulb. In 2017, a project used drones to track these heat signatures. And what they found was mind-blowing. They were seeing piles of snakes in areas where they did not even know the snakes had reached yet. They found them along canal banks and deep inside cypress heads. This was a huge deal because these snakes are eating everything in sight. Since the year 2000, over 17,000 of these snakes have been removed from the wild, but the thermal flights show that there are still thousands more hiding in the dark. The investigators had to be really careful. They would see a hot spot on the screen and then send ground teams out to check it. Sometimes they had to trek through miles of waist-deep water just to find the source of the heat. When they arrived at the coordinates, they often found a ball of snakes all tangled together. It is a sight that would make most people run the other direction, but for the conservation teams, it was proof that the thermal flights were working. These flights are hands down the best way to find these invasive monsters before they destroy the entire ecosystem. What most people do not realize is how hard it is to see a snake in the daylight. Their skin looks just like the grass and the leaves. You could be standing three feet away from a 15-foot snake and never know it is there. But at night, they cannot hide from the heat sensors. The infrared cameras pick up the infrared radiation that everything with a temperature gives off. Because the snakes are slightly warmer than the water and the grass around them, they stick out like a sore thumb. This technology is changing the game for Florida wildlife experts who are fighting a war against these silent invaders. The flights also revealed that these snakes are moving into new territories. They are not just staying in the southern Everglades anymore. The heat signatures are showing up further north and even near agricultural fields. This is scary because it means they are getting closer to where people live. The data from these flights is being used to create heat maps that show where the biggest concentrations of snakes are located. This helps the state decide where to send the hunters and the scientists to do the most good. It is a high-stakes game of hide-and-seek played with thermal goggles and low-flying planes. But even with all this tech, there are still mysteries. Some of the heat signatures found during these flights still have not been explained. Sometimes the teams go to a spot and find nothing but crushed grass and a lingering warmth. It makes you wonder what was there just a few minutes before the flight passed over. The swamp is full of shadows, and even the best cameras can only see so much. The pilots noticed that the heat signatures were most visible when the air temperature dropped quickly at night, creating a big contrast. Mystery Forest Hotspots So, here is the deal. While the snakes are a massive problem, they are not the only things glowing in the Florida night. Scientists have been using these same thermal flights to keep track of the Florida panther. These big cats are super rare, with fewer than 250 of them left in the entire world. They are ghosts of the forest, and seeing one in person is almost impossible. But at night, their body heat makes them look like bright white flames moving through the dark woods. 
Back in the 1990s, researchers started using infrared cameras on planes to count them, and they found signatures in places they never expected. They were seeing heat signatures deep inside thick cypress swamps where they thought the ground was too wet for panthers to live. But the cats were there, huddling on small islands of dry land. This discovery was huge because it showed that panthers are much better at navigating the swamp than we ever thought. It is not that simple, though. Sometimes, the thermal flights would detect a heat signature that looked like a panther. But when the teams went to investigate, they found something totally different. They were stumbling upon illegal human activity. Imagine being a ranger and following a heat signature into the middle of a protected wildlife preserve, expecting to find a rare cat, but instead finding a hidden camp. These thermal flights have accidentally uncovered poachers and people living illegally in the deep woods. One survey in the Big Cypress Preserve picked up several hotspots that turned out to be illegal encampments. These signatures should not have been there because those areas are strictly off limits to humans after dark. It turns out that the same tech used to save animals is also a great tool for catching people who are breaking the rules. The crazy part is how clear the images can be. From hundreds of feet in the air, the infrared cameras can see the heat from a person's body or the cooling embers of a small fire. Even if someone tries to hide under a thick canopy of trees, their heat often leaks through the leaves, creating a glowing aura that the pilots can spot. This has made it much harder for poachers to sneak into the parks at night to hunt or trap protected species. The thermal flights act like a giant eye in the sky that never blinks and can see through the pitch black darkness. What most people do not realize is that the temperature of the ground changes throughout the night. To get the best data, the flights usually happen in the early morning hours when the ground is cooled down, but the animals are still warm. This creates the best contrast. For the panthers, this data is vital. It tells the state which pieces of land need to be protected so the cats have a place to live and breed. Without these thermal signatures, we would be guessing about where the panthers go. Now we have a clear map of their secret highways through the forest. But sometimes, the heat signatures are even smaller and more mysterious. Small hotspots often pop up near the edges of towns. These turned out to be burrowing owls. These tiny birds live in holes in the ground, and their body heat makes the entrance of their burrows glow on the thermal cameras. In places like Cape Coral, thermal flights revealed way more owls than anyone had counted during the day. This helped the city plan its building projects better so they would not destroy the owls' homes. It is amazing how much information you can get just by looking at the world through heat. The technology is getting better every year, too. Now, instead of just big planes, they are using smaller drones that can fly lower and get even better pictures. These drones can hover over a heat signature to get a closer look without scaring the animal away. This is especially helpful for studying sensitive species that might run away if they hear a loud engine overhead. The goal is to gather as much data as possible while causing the least amount of stress to the wildlife. It is a delicate balance between high-tech surveillance and nature conservation. Despite all the success, there is still a sense of wonder and a bit of creepiness to the whole thing. Seeing the world in heat signatures makes you realize just how much is moving around in the dark while we are all asleep. The woods are alive in a way that most of us will never see with our own eyes. Every bright spot on that screen is a story a life, or sometimes a mystery that is still waiting to be solved. The heat signatures near the old farmhouses suggested that something much larger was lurking in the shadows. Nighttime Pig Roosts Florida is currently facing a massive pig problem. Wild pigs or feral hogs are swarming the state and causing a staggering amount of destruction. They root through soil, devour native vegetation, and wreck agricultural operations. Because these animals are highly intelligent and move in large groups called sounders, they are incredibly difficult to manage, especially since they stay active at night to avoid the Florida heat. This is where high-tech thermal flights change the game. Pilots and drone operators are detecting massive heat signatures, large glowing blobs near the edges of farms and forests. These blobs are actually nighttime pig roosts. When pigs huddle together in thick brush to stay safe, their collective body heat creates an infrared signature so intense it can be seen from miles away. 
Since 2023, specialized drones have revealed that pigs use agricultural edges as hideouts, raiding crops under the cover of darkness and vanishing before sunrise. The stakes are high. These invasive animals cause over $500 million in damage across the country annually. In Florida, the costs are particularly crushing for farmers. However, by using thermal imaging to pinpoint these sounders, the state can organize targeted removals. In some regions, this data-driven approach has already slashed crop damage by 50%. It is a massive win, though the flights must be constant because pigs learn and adapt quickly. Interestingly, thermal imaging allows pilots to distinguish species with ease. A group of pigs appears as a bright, bubbling mass of shifting heat. A panther, by contrast, shows up as a steady, singular point of light. This efficiency is vital for covering Florida's vast terrain. Beyond property damage, these pigs carry diseases that threaten livestock and public health, making these infrared eyes in the sky a primary line of defense. The technology also reveals how pigs physically scar the landscape. Infrared lenses show trails and tilled earth that hold heat differently than undisturbed land, helping scientists track environmental degradation. However, the work isn't easy. Florida's high humidity can blur thermal images, requiring pilots to wait for the perfect weather window to ensure they don't spook the animals and lose the signature. While the night sky reveals the movement of invasive pigs, the dark waters of the Sunshine State hold secrets of their own. As winter descends and coastal waters chill, Florida's natural springs become a vital sanctuary. These springs remain a constant 72 degrees, acting as a thermal refuge for manatees who cannot survive in colder temperatures. Thermal imaging allows scientists to conduct disturbance-free censuses, counting hundreds of individuals and monitoring their health without the need for intrusive boats or divers. This high-altitude data has been instrumental in shaping environmental policy, directly leading to the creation of seasonal slow-speed zones. By identifying exactly where manatees congregate, officials can implement protective measures that save countless animals from the devastating impact of boat propeller strikes. The evolution of this technology is moving at a rapid pace. Modern drones are now being outfitted with advanced multispectral cameras, which go beyond simple heat detection. These sensors can peel back the layers of the ecosystem, differentiating between the subtle signatures of an invasive python coiled in the brush, a foraging feral pig, and a human researcher. In the dense, often impenetrable terrain of the Everglades, this level of clarity is revolutionary. It allows for a surgical approach to conservation, where threats are identified and managed with unprecedented precision. Florida has firmly established itself at the forefront of high-tech conservation, turning the sky into a tool for protection. The next time you spot a steady, blinking light hovering over the vast expanse of the Everglades, remember it isn't just a machine. It is a silent observer, a technological guardian working through the night to solve the complex mysteries of the wild and ensure the survival of Florida's most iconic species. Are we truly alone in the dark or are thousands of eyes watching us from the heat of the swamp? Comment below your thoughts, like this video, and subscribe for more.